real things in the market. And, and I think that's really important. Uh, you know, when you look at it, I mean, there, there's a lot of different ways to trade markets. There's a lot of different ways to do things. And uh, again, I thought it was great. And I, I enjoyed it myself. And I listened to the whole thing. And normally, most I don't listen to, but I thought he was really solid. So today, we're going to talk about uh, what I call the next big thing, which is mini and micro futures. And, and, and you know, on a short term basis, some of the strategies you just learned with, with Filestar are, are, will fit right in here, but we're actually gonna talk about something much different uh, because we're now using uh, many of our proprietary algorithms when we trade. Uh, but in the meantime, I do think this is a hell of a product. And you know, one of the things is you, you learn to understand how the market conditions change and there's certain things you can watch that will show you. And I always ask the question, you know, how do you ride a bear? The same way you ride a bull, just in the other direction. And again, it's always the same and that's one thing about markets. And I think Fausto said about one other thing that was very interesting is that, you know, the market's going to be around forever. So if you miss one, there's one coming up and they do trade 241 days a year. So don't ever get yourself frustrated by missing one. But in the meantime, as we get started, I always have to give the, the old disclaimer. Okay. And there it is. I don't read it to you, but you can understand what it is, right? It's about risk and whatever happens. And, uh, you know, we always want to make sure that we always understand, you know, the risks that we're taking. And, and I think that's important as well, because many, especially when you get involved in some leverage products, you end up taking more risk than you, than you realize. And it, does, it, it never ends up well. So make sure you understand that part of it. But again, I just got this uh, the, uh, the other day and I just want to share it with you. Uh, yes, Todd, very impressive market price analysis. Yours is the best in the world. Most consistent methodology, most rigorous, drop the emotions. Don't listen to pundits who comment casualty I'm, I'm based on reading news i glanced at the market spreadsheet during the day but i'm working hard on my research writing i submitted a paper to the knowledge economy last week to journal peer review but again cornell university okay so again i want you to understand that what we're doing is is is, is, is it it's the real thing okay for somebody who wants to be a longer term trader okay and and i what i always like to say is there ain't no such thing as a free lunch okay again they do not exist. There is no such thing. And, and if you think there are, you got a problem because we know that there is, they do not happen and we cannot put ourselves to, in that belief because it takes work. It takes understanding to what you're doing because the secret indicators don't exist. Okay. I mean, that, that's another fact that many are, many are sold on. Okay. Is that the there's a, some somebody's got the magic or the secret you know what there isn't any. it's it's good old price action it's good old what you're doing it's a lot of the things you just learned or you just saw uh with with file right now about using it the whole key here is what you got to follow the rules if you can't follow the rules you have no chance okay if you can't learn to take a loss you have no chance okay that's what it comes down to which brings me to drawdowns Drawdowns are a part of this business, okay? Anybody who thinks they can exist with never taking a drawdown is, is fooling themselves because I will tell you as straight up as I can that the drawdowns happen, okay? There is no way that you can avoid the potential, okay, drawdown because they happen all the time. Now, again, the key is, is do you know how to deal with a drawdown and what to do with it, okay? Because all it really is is a measure of how you're doing. So you're hoping that your equity curve continues to rise, okay? Because this is very much a chart like any other chart because at the end of the day, all charts are the same and all patterns repeat themselves. So again, if you don't think you can, if you can't handle a drawdown or it's not for you, then you should not be watching because we do take drawdowns. And I'm gonna show you real live results so again, I want you to understand that this is not, you know, uh, garbage. This is not something that you shouldn't be seeing. This is, these are my, you'll see my personal results because I am a full-time trader as well, have done so for 40 years, okay? The magic is inside you because there ain't no crystal ball, right? You, you got to understand, again, that it, it's the person inside that can deal with markets, that can deal with conditions, that can deal with volatility, they can deal with all the things that happen in any given trading period, depending on how frequently you're trading. You know, it's funny. I trade live for a group every day for 30 minutes, okay? Not when I'm trading live. It's not what I'm using right now on my algorithms. And sometimes during the day, I can be counter 
what I actually have on. But again, it doesn't matter because those are, in, in, uh, in day trading, a long-term capital game should be about 15 or 20 minutes, okay? Now, again, just to give you who I am exactly, I am Todd Bubba Horowitz. I've been a member of the exchange for 40 years, okay? I started out at the CBOE, the CBOE in 1980. I did found Bubba Trading. I've written two books on options, okay? And I have one coming out on future shortly. Uh, I regularly contribute to all the major networks. And of course, every recommendation that you see, I trade in my own account, more, in more than one account. Okay. So again, I want you to understand that whatever, whatever I'm recommending or whatever I'm saying, I'm going to trade it. Now, the mini micro futures, okay. Many people have been afraid of futures their entire life because there's always been that fear that you get, you're going to, you're going to get, you know, soybeans delivered to your front yard. You're going to get, you know, all kinds of things that happen. At the end of the day, it's, it's not, it, it's, what's, what's up, Bonnie? How are you? Hi, Glenn. It's not what happens, okay? First of all, they have changed everything. You know, when I first started in, when I first started to hit it big, okay, in about 81, okay, because they came out with the OEX, okay? What they learned is that if they just cash sell the options, they would create more money, more trade. And of course, now futures are cash settled, which means that there is really no more delivery. There is no more uh, delivering 5,000 bushels or 1,000 barrels of oil to your front yard. They brought out this new product, the mini micros, which are one tenth the size, and they are uh, very easy to trade, very low. And it was the biggest launch in the history of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange of products, the biggest ever. Okay, and if you think about the products they had there, that's a, quite an amazing statement to say the biggest ever. But what what is the advantage of futures in general? Capital efficiency, okay, strategic freedom diversity of asset classes and, and tax benefits because futures are taxed differently than stocks. They use, I always forget the form number, it's either 1056 or 1256. Forgive me for not remembering, I never, I can never remember it, but it, that's what it is. But in the meantime, there's also no day trading restriction if you're trying to use a day trading method, okay? There is no FINRA involved here. So there's a lot of benefits to the futures model and I actually prefer it as a, as a day trader. Okay, because I think it's easier to deal with. But in the meantime, you've got all the products you want to trade with at a very minimal amount. In fact, you can start a portfolio with as little as five thousand dollars. Okay, and have plenty of margin because we're we're big believers. Okay, that if you're going to trade, you have to have, or we want you to have, minimum of three times the margin required for what you're trading because you have to be able to understand when you do get a drawdown because you're going to get them. Okay. So we call this really the, the next big thing because at the end of the day, the futures are the next big thing because many of you will eventually switch over. I think it's, it, it's starting to take over even from the option world, especially when they brought in these, these mini micros because they're so small, you can then scale into what makes you comfortable you're not outsizing or overpricing yourself into a market, okay? So it gives you many advantages to be in the best position for you. Because again, really what happens a lot is it comes back down to the person in that little mind of yours, that guy running between your two ears who can affect the way that you make trades, okay? But what we really look for and what we're trading here is a probability model, okay? Everything I do in trading whether it's a day trading, whether it's swing trading, long-term investing is based on a probability mathematical model, okay? It's everything that I do is rule-based. Now, again, I have violated the rules. I'll admit it. I, you know, when I'm day trading, sometimes I'll get a little cavalier, but overall, okay, in my swing trading, in my, in the stuff you're going to see today, in my portfolios, I don't, I don't even, I never, take, take any risk over what I already know. I don't, do not change the model. I follow the rules specifically because if you don't follow rules, you have no chance in this industry overall. Again, I, I, I repeat that rules are unbelievably important because if you don't follow them, you're going to end up losing. You're going to make some key mistakes that shouldn't have been made. Okay. So when we talk about mechanical trading, which is what we're talking about today, the major reason traders lose money in the long run is because they miss trades, let losses run, trades they are in, and take profits far too early on the winners. Very common. 
Okay. My method does none of the three, and therefore the odds of winning are greatly enhanced by proven real-time performance. We cannot miss a major move in any market. We do not let losses run. We always let profits run. That is because the algorithm was designed just to do the, exactly those three things. That algorithm was built, just FYI, from, from me and my partners, 120 years of, of trading, of reading charts, of floor trading, because floor traders didn't re, don't read charts. Okay? Floor traders trade order flow and paper. Okay? So again, those are things to understand. That's how this was built. But at the end of the day, if you remember the turtles, Richard Dennis, Richard Dennis is a friend of mine, and Richard Dennis and I traded in the same pit for a while in Chicago. Okay, price is everything. Okay, if you think it's anything but price, you're wrong. Okay, and again, I just re remind you to go back and look at what Fausto showed you. He was showing you price. Okay, how the patterns are established. Ignore the news. If you try to trade the news, you're an automatic loser. You have no shot. Okay, why? Because by the time the news hits the street, it's already been priced into the market, especially. In today's era, you know, we're not talking about, you know, uh, we're not talking about the, uh, uh, you know, 85 when news didn't flow as fast as it did. Now, you know, if somebody burps in, in Europe, they know about it here two seconds after it was done. There is no more special news, okay? You buy when it breaks out, you sell when the trend changes. Pretty simple, okay? Don't get out before a trend changes, okay? Now, again, many of you will, and I love the example that I always show, and I'm going to show, show it to you live. Hold on. I'm going to pull up my, my thingy, okay, my charts. So, you know, we trade a lot of products. We've got our biggest portfolio for the big futures is 29 products. But, you know, everybody watches all the stocks. And, of course, you know, Amazon last October, they had earnings, and they came out with earnings, and they were in disaster, okay, right here. And everybody was, and everybody was in the NASDAQ, which we use. That's one of our products. So it was all nervous and Peggy, I got to sell. I got to sell. I said, I said, look, I'm telling you, follow the rules. If you think that you're going to make, you're going to be smarter than the market, you're nuts. Okay. Follow the rules. But I know people don't always like to follow the rules. They couldn't take it. They let, they let, they let the little man between the ears get in the way. Well, in the meantime, in the same period, the NASDAQ did have a little pressure. And then those who sold out early missed, they only missed uh, only 40,000. Not bad. Okay. Again, that's the point, okay? You follow the rules because nobody can time the market to tell you when it's gonna change. Remember, it's always time in the market in the long term, okay? Not timing the market. You stick to the system, you stick to the rules, okay? Success is long-term profitability, okay? From day to day, anything can happen, okay? Again, we know that anything can happen day to day. We're not interested in predicting the next five minutes unless you're trying to day trade, which that's a different story, okay? but we have a huge edge, trend following. You need to be able to eliminate the emotions. Basically, my goals for you, you know, for example, when I was a floor trader, okay, I still used rules and I traded. I didn't have the algorithm for me because I, you had to be too fast, but there was many days that I spent on the golf course during the end, and I'd be there today if it wasn't nasty weather in Chicago, okay? I'd love to be on the golf course today because again, for my portfolios, I don't have to deal with them during the day because I don't make trades during the day. I don't make changes during the day. Okay. This is emotion free trading. Okay. You trade when it's time, you change when it's time. And when I send out a signal, those signals go out about 3 a.m. Chicago time and you can turn them when you want. It, but then you know there's going to be a change. Long term solution to a short term problem. That's really what this is about. We're trying to share with you ways to hold a longer term position without getting itchy to, to change it, okay? And that's what algorithmic trading really comes down to in our model. So today we're gonna to talk about what are our objectives, manage futures, it's the math, the portfolios, how you can take advantage. And of course, I will answer all of your questions as I always do. Today, I'm a little bit limited in time because I only get an hour, but you know, but I will answer every question I can and you can always email me if you have more, okay? So Richard Dennis did say this and this is a fact, I could trade without knowing the name of the market. And of course, we can all do that if you, again, understand price action. If you understand that all markets are the same, all charts are the same, all patterns repeat themselves. It doesn't matter. Okay. Again, remember, those are important things in general. Whether you ever come aboard with me or not, understand that a chart is a chart is a chart, and you only care about the time frame you're watching because that's what you may be trading off of. 
Okay. So don't let anybody kid you differently and tell you there's some magic out there because I'll just give you one quick example. One of the most famous indicators, which is by a person named Jay Wells Wilder. Okay. I'm going to ask you a question. You can ask this if you feel like it. How much did James Wells Wilder or Jay Wells Wilder, excuse me, make trading when he would try to trade on the floor? Okay. And I'll let you guys answer that, but I will continue because I don't want to run out of time because I got, you know, I talk a lot. <laughs> Anyways. So why do professionals traders use rule-based trading systems? Because we need, everybody needs a reason to do what they do. They need to have a trigger to say, this is next. It's the same thing as everybody has to have a trading plan. Okay. That is the correct answer. Jay Wells Wilder busted out three times. Okay. But yet his mathematical indicators are some of the most popular. Okay. So again, I'm just saying, okay, it's, it's not that, you know, again, I'm not bashing anything. I'm just saying to you that indicators are like the things on a bolt. They just are, they're, they're not going to be the answer unless you know how to use them. Because okay? I can personally make any system a winner. Okay. Give me enough time. Give me the data and I'll tell you how to make it a winner. But the question is, will you be willing to step up to take what it means to be a winner? Because there's, there's, there's different things. There's different strokes for different forces. Okay. Um, the, the, the Wilder and the ADX. Okay. Anyways. So again, you gotta have rules. Okay. If you can't follow rules, you cannot, you shouldn't be here. Okay. And certainly I don't want you to sign up because if you can't follow the rules, I don't want to deal with it. I have, I don't deal well with people that don't follow the, the directions and the rules. Okay. To win at algorithmic trading, you must have no opinions. Okay. So we don't have an opinion. We let the algorithm give us the opinion that tells us what the market is going to do next. Okay. And that takes what it's taking is it's taking all the information, the price action, the, the point and stake in the chart and what it looks like and what the trend is going to be. If you violate rule, rule number one, you'll lose money trading. A trend is the basis of all profit. If you do not understand that you should not be trading. If you pay attention to news, you will lose money trading. If for one minute you think you know more than the market, price is too high or too low, the market will take your money. It will always punish traders with such hubris. We never sell at the top, nor do we buy at the bottom. That is for fools who insist on being right as opposed to making money. If the market is going higher and you are short the market, the market is right and you are wrong. If you're long and the market's going down, you're wrong. Again, deal with it. Okay, that's why we don't try to guess. Okay, the objective in mechanical trading is to mirror the market. You want to always be doing what it is doing. And if you do, you will put high probabilities on your side. I believe that's what Fausto just told you. Okay, trend mechanical trading gives you a statistical edge you cannot obtain elsewhere. Profitable traders understand that edges are essential to long term profitability. And of course, that was being a market maker. If you didn't get the edge, okay, you didn't have a chance. Okay. Uh, this is from our guys, Morris, your forecasting commentary is flat out. Excellent. I've been able to check my emotions and follow your algorithm exclusively. And my results are hard for me to believe. I trade three contracts of the 28 K that started April of last year. It's in those 12 months since I have profit of just over a hundred thousand dollars. I look at the performance. And I'm simply astounded at the results. I cannot thank you enough. You and your algorithm have been a blessing to me and my family. Just wanted you to know how much I appreciate you and your passion for what you do. And again, I do have a lot of passion, okay? And I get mad a lot when I'm teaching because again, I'm very much rule-based. You know, I had clerks work for me over the years. And, you know, again, there's people that will follow and do the right things and become learners and, and want to be in Fausto's trade room. And there's guys that just want to, you know, want that free lunch and think that they're going to get something for free, which there ain't, okay? Now again, when you look at the minis and the micros, okay, what do you got? Well, the mini S&P, the regular mini S&P, every time it moves one full point, that's 50 bucks. The micro S&P is five bucks, okay? So again, you can trade the same product that gets the same price movement, but you can trade it with less exposure, which means you can then add to your position, which will also help you adjust to the right size for you personally so that you don't get yourself forced out of the markets because you got too nervous because of the size of your position. Okay. The other thing that happened now, if, you, if any of you have traded for any length of time, the, the CBOE once tried to come out with micro options. 
Okay. Now, options are another bag. They're, they're tougher to trade anyways, unless you really understand the volatility. You can see the whole, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of components to options, but in futures, okay, you have the, the they're straight. They're straight price discovery. There's nothing else that's involved with it. But when the CBOE tried to come out with it, but they made one key error. They forgot to reduce the commissions. Okay. They tried to charge regular commissions. Okay. In a market. Okay. That was one that they were trading at one tenth the size. It's hard to overcome that. That's that becomes a major problem in your own liquidity when you have when your rates are when you're paying too much. Well, the CME dropped their fees to 10% of what the big ones cost because they're one tenth the size. And brokers are somewhere in between. They're, they're, they're somewhere between 70% uh, lower to 90% to lower on commission. So again, it has no effect on your liquidity. It, keeps you, it gives you the ability to trade and it allows you to be in markets. So they're great products. They give you great exposure and they help you build portfolios. Now our objectives, okay, we got by rules. Okay. Again, it's strictly rule-based. I cannot deal with not being rule-based because at the end of the day, and I've done, listen, I've done it. I've made huge trades with no rules. I've made big plays. Some win, some lose. Okay. But I will tell you that since following the rules, okay, since I came off the floor, it's been a lot more peaceful and a hell of a lot better. Okay. In general, because it, it gives you peace of mind and I can walk away and not think about it. We have defined entry, exit, and timelines. Okay. Set it and forget it. Again, we're looking to give you a trade. So when I issue a trade, they come out very early in the morning. And if there's a reversal, it, it comes out early in the morning. There's nothing during the day to do. Okay. Between the open, when the markets are open, after you, if you've had a new trade or an adjustment, it's done. Once that's done, there's nothing at least until the next day. Okay. We don't trade off a gut instinct. Okay. We don't determine, you know, I, by, by choices. Again, we're not looking to bring anything in. I mean, I personally, I, right now, I'm going to tell you honest, I have probably the longest, biggest futures positions on I ever had in my life. Okay. Uh, long. And market makers like me tend to like to be short in the first place. So it's extra painful, but it's not painful because I've made a lot of money. But the point is, is that I don't argue. I mean, I believe we're going to still make new lows at some point. But again, my belief, in fact, has nothing to do with it today. Right now, the market says it should be going higher. The NASDAQ has broken out to new, to, to new levels. So again, we're not going to argue with what the trend says. I'm just giving you, I'm giving you an opinion, which I like I do when I'm on TV. So our objectives are what? To make money. Okay. We want to try to keep the variance small. Obviously, it doesn't always work that way, but we, we, we work on it. Okay. We want to be balanced. And we want to keep small drawdowns. Okay. I mean, again, we know they're going to happen. It's just a question of how big they are when they come. So, you know, we use, we call it managed futures. I mean, I'm not managing. I'm, I'm giving you the trades, but I'm showing you how to manage it yourself. I'm not looking for you to give me money. I'm having, I want you to do it, be able to do it on your own. Okay. Any difference between after hours and, and the cash sessions? No. I mean, you know, again, first of all, we don't get affected. You know, we use a, we use a closing price, you know, the day trading session, just it's a good question. The day trading session actually starts at 6 Eastern time, 6 p.m. Eastern time every day. That is actually the start of the new day trading session. The other session ends at, at, on most products and the, and the, and the bigger products at, at, at 5 Eastern. So there's a one hour window in which they're closed. And that's where they establish the, usually the closing price. Some establish it at the 415 close, some at the 5 o'clock close. But that's, that's a good question. But it has, we, we use the data because it's part of the data. It's part of the footprint that is built in. Okay. But overall, you know, again, it doesn't affect us because we don't, you know, I don't run the algorithm until, you know, I get up every morning at 2, 2 a.m. Chicago time. And I, so that's when I run it. And then I send out the trades. Okay. But again, a good trend trading follow, a good, a good trend following system will keep you in the market, which is what you're trying to do because you want to stay in as long as you can. You know, we, we have created a way to diversify, which could be achieved by without big bucks. So and again, we, the original model, which you will see, was our, what we call our 226. It was, it's a $226,000 base, okay, which really only required, at the time, before the, the clearing firm started to, to panic, okay, the margin was about 75000 So we called it the 226 because it's three times margin.
but now we can you can have a position in large numbers of markets with minimal risk and that's what that's where the micro minis come in because in the 226 we trade 29 products in the 28k which is what you'll be looking at today and the 17 and the 16 and the five those trade the, the biggest one is the 28 which trades 18 products okay and no when we're, we're in we're always in okay we're never out we're either long or short always in the market okay so when we talk about managed futures this is what you're looking at see here this is a you know, pie chart and again not a big fan but overall but we do have some distribution so that if, if markets are going in complete opposite directions we will have products that are running okay and products that may be losing but we know one thing for sure the losers will eventually reverse and hopefully become winners the winners will keep running because we're really in it to hit home runs okay this is not a singles we're not looking to tick it out tick by tick we are looking to hit monster home runs when we play this model because again we're looking to be with the trend for an extended period of time and if you go back to floor trading you know trend traders on the floor made money less time but when they hit they hit bigger counter trend traders which is more typical to a market maker they make a lot of money all, not they make money all the time but they make it in little bits and pieces okay so this is a trend trading model okay which is meant to hit home runs when you hit it okay and trading has taught me not to take the conventional wisdom for granted what money i made in trading is the testimony of the fact that the majority are wrong a lot of the time the vast majority is wrong even more of the time and i've learned that markets are often just mad crowds are often irrational when emotionally overwrought they almost always wrong and again that is a fact think about it look at it and go back and look at the last big sell-off okay and say wow it, it did come back in reverse and it did do what it was supposed to do and if i didn't panic out i'd have been in good shape and that's what you want to remember okay um you're using ninja i use i use uh i still use my 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 commercial platform for for my futures for, but i have my my portfolios which i have seven of them auto trade not all trade but letter of direction traded okay i don't touch them i trade one myself because it's a hybrid of, of all of them but uh typically you know but I, when i'm day trading you know i'll trade my platform when i'm day trading myself this is what i'm using right here. this is this is cunningham but this is through a broker okay that i trade you know i need i want easy and quick execution okay so that's what i use okay but in the meantime uh, so you know, you know we talk about you ever ever heard of a family office okay you know again you know it was my always my goal to be able to bring the little guy an opportunity to compete in the world of the big guy you know the the, the wealthy they have a break they get they get better deals they get better offers because people know they got money so they're willing to give them something to get it well again i just thought that was you know listen, it's the way it is it's the way of the world but i thought you know what let me see what i can bring to the average person to help them and in fact not only do i do that but i also have a a program that i have put in 600 high schools that i finance and pay for myself on financial literacy and trading as well i mean i teach high school kids how to teach how to trade okay you know and so i've I had one kid get to the all the way to the end of the course but in the meantime it's in all over the place and i just i fund it myself because i'm not getting money from a school anyways but i'm happy to fund it i'm happy to try to help uh make uh you know financial literacy real because i think that you know one of the big problems in the world is that very few people understand really how markets actually work so we we built these products because i've been very fortunate in my life i've done very well and i wanted to have my opportunity to give back and i love coaching and teaching so it, it this was my way and of course those who have been with me and some of you are here know that i can be a a, a rough guy right I, I can be pretty harsh but again that's only because i care if i didn't when i'm not harsh anymore i don't care okay uh i've only traded in chicago only but i you know listen I've, i can trade all over the world i trade listen now we used to trade 24 hours a day not me we used to have a we used to have a group that traded all markets all over the world so the next big thing again i think you know is is mini and micros and of course you know, if, you're, if you're a seinfeld fan that's gold jerry and uh you know money not the most important thing in the world love is but fortunately i love money and again i love money i love money too it makes your know, money may not buy happiness but it sure it sure don't hurt okay and again so that's what we like to well oh no it's all over the, the financial education for schools I, I got some schools in canada okay in fact one of my schools in los angeles 
won the MIT competition. Okay. Uh, so, you know, it was pretty cool. A lot of, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, think probabilities, not possibilities. We're, we're, and we're not, listen, this is not calculus. We're not, this is straight math. We're using straight numbers. Okay. We want to understand that, it, that we're, what we're doing is using a straight mathematical model. Okay. And, and a lot of people don't talk about win rate. I do. Because to me, as I, as I made the statement to you earlier, I said that I can make any system a winner. I have to know what the win rate is, which means if I went back and looked. Now, you know, many people have back tested many strategies. And of course, it's easy to back test. And why is it easy to back test? Okay. Anybody know why it's easy to back test the system and not forward test it? Anybody? Uh, anyways, you can think about it. I'll look up later and see if there's an answer. In the meantime, so win rate is important to understand what you do. Okay. Our win rate is, is, is 66%. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. And that's why it's important because I know, listen, I'm not going to hit six out of every 10 or 66 out of every 100 because this is a lot of the law of large numbers, right? But I know over time I'm hitting 66%. And that's for the history of years and years and years and thousands of trades. Okay. 66% is the number. Okay. It's not that hindsight is 2020. You don't feel the pain of drawdowns when you're just checking numbers. You're going, oh, I had a drawdown here, but you don't feel the actual suction of money out of your account when that happens. So it's easy to go back and say, oh yeah, this works. Because anything works. If you, if, again, I can make, you can give me any indicator you want. Give me data on it for, you know, six or seven months. I'll make it work. The question is, are you willing to step up and maybe have to put on from one contract to 30 to make it work? That's, there's a whole different story there. Okay. So again, anything can work if you know how to do it. But the other side is how much are you willing to expose yourself? What, what, is, you, what is your pressure point? Okay. You know, and it's interesting in this world, right? You know, amateur traders, they want to be right. Professional traders, they want to make money. Okay. Ask any pro. Does he want to be right all the time? I mean, would I like to be right? Yeah, I'd like to be right, but well, I don't care. Listen, I'm, I hate crude oil. I had some of my biggest trades in the long side of crude oil. And I'm usually a seller of crude oil only. So again, just understand that I'm here to make money. You're here to make money. That's what we're here for. Okay. Nobody's here. You know, I don't care if I'm right or not. Okay. I'll make a big call. I make some big calls on TV. But again, I, I tell them that that's, you know, I, 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 this is where I'm at. This is what I think. This, or, but usually my calls will be based on where my algorithm is. Okay. You know, again, you know, if I'm long, I'm not telling that I think we're making new lows. Not, that's what I think, but I'm not telling that because I'm, because I'm going to be long. So I'm never going to, dis I'm not, never going to not tell the fact of what my position is. Okay. My position is my position. And of course we go back to the rules, right? And this is my friend, Richard. I could always say you can publish the rules in a newspaper and no one would follow them. The key is consistency and discipline. Again, that's what, that's what trading comes down to. Okay. You talk about profit factor. Okay, now profit factor is just simply your, your losses and your winners divided and it comes up with a number. People celebrate a profit factor of two. I can tell you that if I only had two as a profit factor, I'd be crying. All right. Our profit factors are usually 10 and, up, 10 and above. Okay. But I'm going to actually show you now. Okay. Now this is our 226 portfolio. This is just, this is where everything was born from because they didn't always have micros. Okay. So this is where the whole model was born from was the 226. And there's 29 markets that it trades in. Okay. These are the entry dates. Okay. So you can see where we got in everything. Now we've been long. Okay. We've been long the Dow since 325. Okay. We've been long the NASDAQ since 47. We've been long the S&P or yeah, S&P. <laughs> got a fire here. Since 318. Okay. Again, that's our business. You can see the shaded ones. We call these mega trades. Okay, these are in the big model. It's three thousand or more. So you can see eighteen thousand. And again, but there's losers too, and you're going to see them all. Hold on. I'm going to show you everything. Like I said, I'm not not afraid to show you losses as well. Now here is the micro. This is what you're looking at. Today. This is the mini micro. So here is this trades eighteen products. Same entry dates for the futures, right? If they're the same, they're going to be the same entries, same direction. They're always the same. But here are the mega trades. In the in the mini micro, and this is the uh, the 28k. Okay, now here is equity curves for our 17 and our 28. Now I'm going to show you some live portfolios. Let me just pull them down. Okay, and I'm going to show them to you. These are as of okay. They're they're up a lot this week, but that doesn't matter. These are as of last Saturday. Okay, every Saturday morning, 
I send out a complete report that looks just like this. I do a little write up and I send this out and this is as of last Saturday, okay? So you can see there's the positions, the open positions, okay? There was no changes. You can see that the, the, the model's up over 100% since inception, which is a year, about a year, okay? And here's every week since it opened, okay? And again, I don't leave the losses out here. Look at that, oh, is that ugly? That was painful, okay? But that was right after a brand new equity high. And here is the equity curve. Now, why is the equity curve so important? Because we use it for, depending on when you get in and when you start and where you get in the model, okay? The equity curve will help you when it's time to create a bigger position, okay? You know, many of my, like for example, one of my portfolios is, is three times the amount of contracts. One is two, one is 10. Depends on when you entered and how you do them, okay? But we're always looking to press our portfolios when the time is right, which means after a drawdown or a regression back to the mean, we'd like to press our portfolio if we have the capital that we have earned. So depending on, you know, if you started down here, okay, then you're in great shape, then you can press up here with no problem, okay? If you started up here, even with the drawdown, you cannot press it. You have to wait until you have enough capital because again, we go back to how much money do we have? Can we cover the three times margin without adding? I'm not a big fan of adding to an account, okay? Now here's our 17K. Now the difference between the 17, okay, and the 28, now again, the, the numbers that I'm quoting you, <clears throat> 28, today it requires about 11,000 and change in margin. But again, I want you to have enough margin to withstand if you have a drawdown when you start, okay? The 17K, you know, used to have, you know, 6,000, now it's about 7,500, okay? You know, the, the clearing firms have, have panicked a little bit, so they, they've raised up margin. And why are they raising up margin? Because they're trying to keep people out of their market. They, they like it when your money's in their account ticking overnight, and they're getting the overnight rate versus you trading. So they're, you know, when the market's a little wild, they try to restrict you if they can, okay? So again, but here is this the 17K, okay? And this is, again, here's every result in this model. And you can see new equity highs, and we had a drawdown. And of course, where we're going right now. And right now, we happen to be at new equity highs this week, as, as of the moment. Now, whether it'll be there you know, after tomorrow, I don't know yet. But this will all be done, as I said, every Saturday, I send these out, okay? And I'm just gonna show you the, the live version of the, 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 to the, five, the 5K. Okay, now, the 5K, for example, okay? We had to change, okay? The 5K was a, a, a couple different products, but with the margin panic, we had to, we adjusted and made it smaller. So th this portfolio is easy, it takes $1,100 in margin. So you can actually do it with less than 5K, but 5K, okay? And again, it's straight, same thing, following the trend. That, that's all, everything we do is the same, all products are in the same direction. You know, you're not, you're not looking at one in one direction, they're all exactly the same, okay? And as I said, I have seven portfolios, Six of them are traded for me by letter of direction just because I don't want to deal with it. And I, I, let, I let it, I, I get too much to do myself. I don't even want to bother. I let them handle it. They enter it for me. They do all the trades. So this is the 226. And again, I talked about profit factor. There's the profit factor, okay, 18 times. Okay. This portfolio is up from its inception, 716%. Here's, here's for the last about approximately two years, every week for about two years. Again, I don't leave the red numbers off. I'm not interested. Look, again, people who think that you always make money are kidding themselves. Anybody who tells you they always make money is a liar. So if you think that you're always gonna make money, that you're, that's, you're, you're in the wrong place. You're not gonna do it with me. I'm gonna tell you right up front so that you don't, I don't want you to come aboard if you think that there's never a drawdown. I don't want you to be a part of my team because if you go in my chat room anytime, whether we're making money or losing money, Everybody's laughing it up. Nobody gets depressed in my chat room. Why? Because they all understand the model. The model is very simple, okay? If you, if you work it and you follow the rules, you're gonna make money. But if you can't take the, 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 the peaks and valleys that can come into the model, then you shouldn't be there. Now, every day, okay, I send out this, okay? A, a daily report and it's new trade alert. If there is a new trade, it will say what the trade is and what we're doing. If it's not, it'll just say none. And I text that to you about 3 a.m. as well. Okay, so that's central time. But I text it as well, okay? Here is what goes out weekly. And I just do a little bit of a write-up. I attach the portfolios. You get the results. But then I just, you know, I highlight a couple of things. But So every Saturday, you get a weekly report every day. But Monday, 
because Saturday's report goes to Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you get something from me. And of course you get texts as well. Plus you get market update texts from me during the day. Uh, you know, I just say what's going on and I do a little video uh, every day for about five minutes. So in the meantime, you get these every single day, okay, to keep you informed and when the trades come out. And again, everybody gets to trade at the same time. So there's no advantage. And again, we don't really care because some people don't get up as early as I do. And some of the markets aren't even open yet. You know, the grain markets don't open till, till they're open, but then they close. And for most, they won't, you will consider they open at 9.30 with, with regular equities. So those, again, you, you, you put the trade on when the, when, it, when, it, when the market opens, but you know, like the S and P will trade all night. You can either put it on right away or you can wait. That's up to you. But CTG who does our letter of direction trading, they'll be entering that trade at 7.30 Eastern time. Every day they enter at 7.30 Eastern time approximately. Now, this is my own portfolio. This is the 28K when I started. Now, I started this one in November, okay? Uh, and I only put 15 grand in it because I have enough margin there, right? I've got, I've got the 226 times five, okay? And I've got every other portfolio that we run, okay, with multiples. Because again, I like to be able to show exactly what those portfolios are. But I started this one with, with one lots, okay? And we got to a point, it was a press, okay? I started to press it. So then when I got finally pressed it, it actually went up to 34. And you can see the date, this was April 4th, okay? This was April 16th, okay? And, okay, and this was uh, May 16th, okay? So you can see okay, where we are, okay? And, and again, there was a drawdown and, and again, when there's a drawdown, there's a drawdown. I mean, I'm, again, I, I don't, it doesn't bother me. I don't get nervous. Okay, it is what it is. But again, those are the exact dates. You can see it's my account. So these, this is a live account that's trading right now. Okay, that's got all these positions in it, as you saw. Okay, and, and that's really what I'm about. I'm about to be honest and tell you this facts. I'm not interested in bullshit. Excuse me. Uh, you worry about the initial market? No, I, I don't worry about anything. Okay, seriously, let me explain this to you. It doesn't matter, okay? We are looking, first of all, we're not, when you're trading futures, you're not dealing with all the minutia of options. You know, options are great. Listen, I, I, I cut my teeth on options, but if you don't understand volatility, like right now, the VIX is trading at like 30, let's say, but really, it's really like at 12. So you're overpaying for all these options right now. This is a straight price discovery model. I'm happy to get in. And I, again, I don't care about one or two ticks. It's not, to me, it's not a difference. And remember, I got people that are with me that are all over the world from China, Japan, Australia, okay, Switzerland. So my people are everywhere. And in California, some don't want to get up in the morning. Hey, you, when you, you get up, you put the trade on when you get up, doesn't matter. Again, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Sometimes you'll do better, sometimes you'll do worse. But at the end of the day, you'll be in the position. So again, those are all live portfolios. Like everyone else in the room, I can't thank you enough for the opportunity you have available for me. My future account is doubled, and I'm waiting to add contracts on the opportunity for pullback. Again, that's what everybody wants to do, okay? We're always looking for the opportunity to add when it's mathematically sound, not because I want to add when it's got to make sense. The numbers have got to fit. I contend that no one knows why markets do anything, and hence, it is impossible to predict future prices with any consistency or accuracy. Those that think they can forecast are fools and will soon find themselves broke. Gurus con gullible traders into believing they have some special knowledge of the future. Unfortunately, 99% of all trading is based on false premises as why so very few obtain large wealth from the trading game. If you wanna make money trading, you simply buy when prices are going up and you sell when they're going down. It is that simple and basic, but this concept evades most traders because they think they will make more if they know more. I can then is the opposite. The less you know, the more you make. And of course, if you look at the model that Fausto showed you, I mean, it was straight number, looking at where the support was, look at the risk, the big, the big trades. Okay, again, simple things. You know, you don't want to make it, you don't want to overcomplicate yourself. Okay, and, and, and that's what I'm talking about. We can't miss a move. We never miss a move. Again, we don't sell tops and we don't buy bottoms. We're somewhere, you know, 10, 12, 13% from the top. And, you know, whatever it happens to be, whatever the number happens to be, that's where we get in. And, where we get out, and again, we but we make the meat, okay. Again, I've been long. We've been long. Last year, we were on the Nasdaq. I think forty-eight weeks out of the fifty-two, okay. Um, and yeah, here's a question that somebody sent to me. 
I have a margin account at IB. Could I trade this account or would it be preferable to open a separate? Again, I don't care if you're comfortable putting it in the same account. Great. If you're not comfortable, put, open a separate account. I like separate accounts because I like to be able to track it. You know, too often, you know, we get other results confused with what we're doing. But again, that's up to you. If I open a separate account trading 128,000, how much should I find? Well, 28K would be the number you'd put in. Okay, again, that is covering, not, right now it's about two and a half times margin, but we're looking to have three times margin, okay? Uh, I've not traded futures before, I have no idea how the margin works. I'll give you the margins I'll, and I give you the exact size so there's no big deal there. I'm in central time, not really a morning, per, a morning person. So with your trade alerts coming out at three to 4 a.m., I, I would be making trades 8.30 to nine, that's fine. Again, it, I got people in California that don't make it until noon, doesn't matter, okay? If I decide to use CTG to automate trading, what is the cost? How do I get set up with them? I don't know their exact cost. You can deal with them. All you have is email me. But again, they're, they're slightly more than, than self-directed. Okay, They're not the cheapest. They're not going to be down in the world with ninjas and others, but they're not going to be sky high. They're going to be very fair. And one of the big things I can say about this model versus other models I trade, commissions are not a big deal either way because we're not making that many trades. We hope that we don't make any trades during the week. You know, last week we had one trade last week, which is perfect. What does that mean? It means we're making money. Okay. Uh, if you start, if I start on a monthly plan, can I switch to annual? Yeah. Okay. Can you advise you when you think a preferable time to initiate the business? That's always the question I get. And my answer is once you sign up, put them on right away. Why? Because I don't know when it's going to change. Okay. You could wait for the change. In the meantime, you could be waiting and waiting and waiting and miss a gigantic move because you're waiting. Okay. So again, it's, here's the, these are real numbers right here. You just saw them, but here they're 28K is up 55% year to date, 106 lifetime. 17K is up 71% year to date, 118% lifetime. Again, those are real factual numbers. You just saw them. Okay. So if you want to take advantage now, if you want to be part of my team, love to have you come in the chat room, get updates and hang out with us. It'd be great to have you. I mean, of course, uh, we do, you know, monthly training. And in fact, there's going to be training Saturday. Okay, and usually there's more than a, every, it's more than once a month because when questions start to come in that I know that people don't understand, then I start doing more training. So it's usually about a day or two after I see a number of questions that start to say, okay, it's time for another training, but a minimum of once a month. Okay, get weekly reports and daily updates. Regularly, it's one ninety nine a month. Okay, today's special one twenty nine, and you get one free month. So it's basically the first two months are one twenty nine, and then it goes to one twenty nine a month. It's at bubbatrading.com forward slash micro. Okay, if you want to go for the annual, okay, today it's fourteen hundred for for thirteen months. I give you an extra free month this year as well. Bubbatrain.com forward slash micro year. Now, one thing I will tell you is your prices will never be raised. Okay, I've never in my history have never raised the prices of the past. Okay, only new members get to pay more. All right, whatever you started out with, that's where you're at. Okay, so I never raise prices. In the meantime, I'll take all your questions and. Again, look forward to seeing you. Those who want to really learn and be part of, you know, understanding it. There's, I can take 50 people today, okay? And this will be the last June 1st. I'm taking the program down, okay, for a while. Because A, I got to make sure that everybody's got it, number one. And number two, um, you know, I don't want to be, you know, I, I don't like to put too much of my stuff out there. I, I try to be mu pretty much to myself and have more of my, unique group and my people so that's what i try to do and again so it's 129 for the first two months but then it is 129 a month afterwards okay and any questions you have feel free to fire i'm happy to answer anything about anything okay feel free to fire at me okay anything you want okay and if you have any questions that we don't get to just email me at bubba at bubba training.com okay but I'm, I'm happy to help you on anything you have a question on okay when was the last time you sent that a buy signal? Okay, this seems like to be like a long-term trading that might may may not generate any buy signals. Well, we the last time we bought was uh, uh, in, right after the big sell up in March. Okay, here we bought. Oh, actually, you know, let me leave this one up. Oh, sorry, let me leave this page up. I'm gonna bring this one back up here. I can tell you exactly the last day we bought March something. Okay, we got long the market. Okay, March, uh, I, depending on which market it was, we got long the uh, uh, the Dow, I believe, on, on March. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pull it down right now for you. Here, 
I don't remember the exact date, but we got long the S and P on the 18th of March. Okay, we got long the Nasdaq on the 7th of of of, uh, of uh, April, and uh, so I mean the last here we 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 shorted natural gas on 5:13. You know, again, it's a trend trading model. The the fewer trades, the better off you are. Okay, so again. It is a longer term model. We're, we're, we we like to hold. I don't want to. I want to. I want to ride the trend as long as I can. I don't want to be active here. This is not an active model. When I'm using this, okay, this is active. Here I'm trying to be active. Okay. When I'm using the the portfolios, which I prefer because I don't have to manage them. Okay. You know, there I there's nothing to do during the day, so I can go about my business. That's what I prefer to. Okay. So again, this is where. You know, we are, and again, they, well, we look at them, they get run, the algorithms get run every night. Is too much not time to really see how positive results? Well, yeah, I mean, look, what's up, Dana? Uh, you know, look, I can't give you an, an exact answer. I mean, the next two months could be great. The next two months could be horrible. I, I, again, I'm not, I would say this to you, the probability of the 28K having a good two months is pretty high, okay, based on where it is on the equity curve, okay? But am I going to guarantee that? No, I don't guarantee anything. I'm showing you real results of my own. Okay, real money, not not imaginary, not that phony stuff, but my own money. Okay, I mean I've got a lot of money involved in futures, and I got a lot of money involved in everything. But I got a lot of money involved in futures. I've got seven different accounts trading futures right now. Okay, and I've done so. Listen, I've been trading for 40 years. This is not new to me. Okay, you know I understand the markets. Better than most. Donna, what's up? Okay. The, the, thing for the, micro, the, 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 the trades recommended are the same for every model. The NASDAQ micro is the same as the NASDAQ mini. Okay. We, there, there's no differentiation. It's based on the same chart, right? I mean, NASDAQ is a NASDAQ. But the actual product you use to get there is not the same. Okay. You know, it's one is a smaller version of the same thing. So, again, they're always going to be the same thing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Listen, I, I, look, I want to be honest because, again, honestly, I don't want happy, I don't want unhappy people. Okay. I don't like the reason, the reason my, I retain about 90% of my members and some of the, are, and part of the 10% that leave is because I asked them to leave, but it's because I just tell it like it is. I'm not, I'm not interested in, 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 in garbage. I don't want to give out minutia. Okay. That's why I like Faso so much. I mean, he just tells it like it is. He's not looking to, 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 to con you or, or give you something that isn't there. So here, tell the truth. You know, I, I learned if you can tell the truth, you got a better chance. Okay. Th that's the way I look at it. Again, I've been screwed too many times, you know, in, in deals and certain deals in my life. I don't need, I'm just here to help facilitate and help others do well. Okay. That's what I, that's my goal. Okay. And those that listen and those that learn end up doing very well. Okay. But there's always those that fall for the get rich quick schemes. And as I like to call it, they, they run after the shiny keys. Okay. And they end up getting it stuck up there. You know what? And again, hey, listen, it is what it is. I, I can't look, can't tell anybody what to do. It's not, it's not, it's not my job. Okay. I can only try to help, which is all I try to do. So I really appreciate everybody being here. And I certainly appreciate uh, Cyber Trading University, great organization. And again, I love this. I love Fausto's presentation. I thought it was really solid. Okay, again, like I said, it reminded me, like if we were, him and I were, were trading together for 50 years, because what was it? The same kind of things that you always think about. Same thing about the markets, okay? And that, I think that was pretty solid. So um, it was great to be here, and I thank everybody, and of course, love to see you aboard. And if you'd like to join me, great. And if not, hey, it was great to be here anyways. You know, you can always ask me a question. Even if you don't join up, I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I got no issues, okay? Uh, you know. Again, you can check it out and you'll see that you also see you get some Monday night calls from me. I do a Monday night webinar market strategy call that just comes with everything. So in the meantime, I thank you all. If you have no questions, I guess I'll give uh, uh, whoever is in charge right now come in and they can you know, work on it, but uh, I'm good to go. And uh, you know, again, I thank you all for, for, for spending your, your time with me and have a great Memorial Day. And to all you, uh, you know, to all of my military and uh, first responder, everybody, thank you so much. It, if it wasn't for you guys, I couldn't do what I do. So I thank you all. Okay. Thank oh, but thank you very much for that great presentation. And it's right. Honesty is very important. Dana De DeLuca uh, says, I agree. Honesty is all the time that everything's in life. And it's true. And uh, listen, 
I, you're not going to go anywhere by cheating and lying in this industry. Eventually, people are going to find out the truth. So, but thanks for coming here. And uh, enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. And like he said, you know, I'd like to thank all the veterans for sacrificing their lives for giving us a, also a better life and future and our family and kids. All right. In the meantime, um, I'm going to bring on our next uh, presenter.